I, I've been to his hospital two times, not because I had cancer, but because when we first met the Contreras, we wanted to go and see what their hospital was like, and they blessed us. They took uh, all the toxins out of our body. It wasn't my favorite thing to do, but <laughs> it, it, it well, really helped us. A big part of life is really to prevent. We don't spend enough time telling people the things that they can do to prevent cancer, and it's not that difficult. It's a, a, better, a better lifestyle, eating the things uh, God put on this earth rather than the, the, the chemicals that you know, the, the industry puts, and exercising. Those two things alone uh, help our patients live longer and better, but it reduces the risk of, of, of getting cancer close to 100%. Oh. It's a very loving place and peaceful and it's, I mean, it's an excellent, I'm talking about, I'm not going to talk about Irvine, I haven't been there yet, but, but, you know, the other hospital, and uh, it's very clean, and uh, the, the people that work there are, are just lovely, and, and, and you're safe when you're there. Yes, uh, we have laughter therapy, we have <laughs> yes. art, we have music, we have prayer, twice a day, yeah. we have Bible studies, uh, we have Sunday services. And his, his brother-in-law is pastor of the church next door. You can go to, you can just yes, walk in the sunshine over to church. If you enjoy Spanish, <laughs> which is the language of heaven. <laughs> <laughs> well, doctor, I, I've got to ask you this, uh, and, and it's uncomfortable to ask you because uh, um, I, I know that it, it must be difficult. There's so much negative, um, information about Tijuana, the yes. drug killings and the bodies that are found without uh, heads. And it, 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 oh. it, and it terrifies people to go there. Correct. Is it safe? Tell us about that, if these people can go there. Well, I live there. I go every day. It's it's like Israel, you know, when, when, when you hear all of these negative things about Israel, <laughs> and then you arrive and say, well, well, what's going on? Life goes about normally in, 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 in Tijuana. Unfortunately, there is a war against the, 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 the drug lords. And uh, there, there's been a lot of killings between themselves, and we hope that they continue until they finish <laughs> each other the up. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's what we're praying for. Uh, uh, so there are some problems in Tijuana, but I want to let you know it's a big city. It's 3 million people, and life goes on normally. Our, our patients are coming. Very safe. Very safe. We and haven't he had lives one incident. five minutes from there. Yes. So, I mean, it's got to be safer. He would be yes, moving. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. So, uh, unfortunately, you know, the perception uh, is very negative, but um, the truth is that life goes on. Normally. And the reason I mention that is I, I just feel in my spirit that there is someone watching right now, Norma, that is struggling with uh, a cancer. And, uh, Probably more than one. Yeah, and they really need to hear this information. They need to know that there is a place that you can go. And, and it, go ahead. You know, it's, it's good. There's a place you can go. But what he's saying is you can apply it to wherever you live. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're uh, watching and you're uh, in Europe somewhere or in the Middle East or, I mean, his information is good. Years ago, he came here to do a program with another doctor and he and my husband and the other doctor, we went to dinner and, and we were in the back seat of our car. And I said to him, I don't know how many years ago that was, I said, if a person finds out they have cancer, what is the worst thing they can do? And he said, the worst thing they can do is get upset. And that's what the devil causes yes, to happen. And so, it, like he said, it's, you know, there are newer things, there's different chemotherapy, there's different, you know, the research is producing all kinds of things. So don't, don't be all upset. Exactly. Cancer is not a death center. Just uh, before, we, before we continue, I'd like to give some instructions. Go get a pencil or a piece, and a piece of paper or a pen because I'm going to give the website address in just a moment. and You see it up there, but I want to spell it out for you or have Dr. Contreras do it because I really feel that someone needs to hear this message. I'm go ahead. Sure. Uh, tell me, go ahead and continue to uh, tell me what you were saying. Don't fear. Exactly. Uh, cancer is not a death sentence. More and more we're finding out that even though the cure is uh, not on site 
what we have been able to do is convert cancer from a terminal illness into a chronic disease. Mm. So we have patients that, that were told you're going to die in three, six months, one year. They're alive 15 years later. If you take x-rays, the tumors are, are still there. So from, you know, from the medical point of view, they're failures, but they're live failures. <laughs> they couldn't be happier with that failure. Not and dead successes. In, exactly. They're, they're, they're enjoying life. Uh, uh, so there, there, there's a lot of hope. That's why we're called the Oasis of Hope. There's you know, hope. the first time uh, Russell and I were at your hospital, we watched a video of a medical doctor. I can't remember his name, but I saw him here in Pittsburgh on a program we used to have that's no longer at K on KDKA. And he said, as a doctor, he was a medical person, he said, there's no doctor that has a right to tell you how long you're going to live. Exactly. We don't, we're, we don't have a magic ball and much less are we gods to, to, to state dates. All right, can you spell that out for us? Your website address, www.oasisofhope. O-A-S-I-S-O-F-H-O-P-E. Dot com. Dot com. And, and I would really recommend that you, you uh, check out that website. And doctor, I am so grateful you're here. You're just such a great friend and we love you. Well, thank so you. So much and thank God for you. And uh, congratulations on opening the yes, new. Yes, yes, we're so <laughs> thankful to God for that wow. opportunity. But you have a vision to go uh, in many other places. Yes, uh, our vision is to have one Oasis of Hope in every continent and four all together in the United States. Praise so the we're Lord. on our way. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Do come back quickly. I will. And thank let you. me just tell you that uh, this number, 888-665-4483, is here to help you when you do face crisis Pick up the phone. Absolutely. Don't fret. Do what doctor says. Don't get all emotionally upset. Pick up the phone. Call us because we want to pray with you. And you see, we do have hope because we have a loving God. We don't speak into the open, empty air. We speak to a loving God who cares about you. And beloved, he cares about your welfare. Call on him.